G'day, kia ora, hello. It's a lovely, uh, oh, I'll turn that around. Lovely overcast um, morning in Tamaki Makara, and today we're going to go to the Green Party political picnic. The details for this is that it's at Albert Park. It says bring your kai, your sunscreen, and your mates. Um, I'll try to bring some kai. No need for sunscreen because of the weather. And um, my mates, um, yeah, about that one, uh, yeah. The lineup we've got uh, virtually every Green MP except for, I believe, Gareth Hughes, Julianne Genta, and uh, Marma Davidson. So you're thinking, young Matt, why are you going to this political picnic? You know, it's a Saturday, it's bloody, you know, it's a Saturday. And to that I say, uh, it's Young Matt's goal to try to engage people in New Zealand's politics um, in an unconventional manner to try to engage them in ways that they probably wouldn't be engaged, you know. And um, so today we're going to try to find out what the Green Party is bringing to us New Zealanders in 2019, what to look forward to, what to be excited about, uh, you know, what, what there is. It was uh, very great. I was very fortunate to speak to Close Forward and Jan Logie. Um, reasonably and deeply and uh, here it is. Yeah, g'day, I'm down here at the uh, Rotunda at Albert Park. I'm here with Chloe Swarbrick. Kia ora. And um, first, I'll ask you a few questions. Chloe, Chloe, what's the Green Party bringing New Zealand in 2019? Oh mate, a whole raft of things. We've got 20 uh, commitments in the Confidence and Supply Agreement, which we negotiated obviously with the Labour Party to help form the government. Uh, but some of the major things are, for example, the wellbeing indicators, which will form the to the wellbeing budget, so for the first time we're going to move away from this massive paradigm shift. Uh, this is Sky Tower, by the way, Tamaki Makoto Hard. Uh, we are moving away from having GDP as the major measure of success and into the more, um, what some people would say, granular things like uh, the health of the environment, housing, employment, education, uh, job opportunities, and otherwise. Uh, we've also got the Zero Carbon Act. Uh, I'm on the Environment Select Committee, so really pumped about seeing that one through. Yeah. And then a whole bunch of other things in mental health and otherwise. G'day, I'm uh, here with Jan Logie, Under Secretary for Justice and um, special focus on domestic and uh, sexual violence. And so we're asking, I'm asking you, 2019, Jan Logie, Green Parties, specifically sexual violence. What's the go? What are we? There's a whole lot going on. It's going to be a huge year, and I, it's something that I really hope everyone watching this gets involved in because we're going to be developing a national strategy that's not for government. Government's part of it, but it's for all of us of how we can actually end this violence. Because at the moment, it's something that when our friends or family member tell us they've been sexually abused or they've experienced that violence. None of us are actually surprised, we're yeah, shocked, yeah, yeah, but we're not yeah. surprised. And I want it to get to the point where actually we are shocked and it's not something that we expect yeah. to happen to anyone. And that's going to take every single one of us. We are shocked and it's not something that we expect yeah. to happen to anyone. And that's going to take every single one of us getting on board with this mission to do it. So I'm so excited to get on with this work this year. Awesome. Thank you. Outside of that, 2019, what is Jan Logie bringing New Zealand? Well, there's a whole lot of other things going on this year. One of the things, because it's Pride Weekend up here yeah. in Auckland, that um, I'm really focused on is progressing rights for LGBTQ people, and particularly trans and non-binary people in New Zealand, because we've made some progress around um, kind of homosexual law reform and marriage equality, but actually we don't have clear protection for transgender people in New Zealand. So what and actual steps can be made this year? So one of the things in front of the government and the parliament at the moment is reform to make it easier for trans people to change the gender marker on their birth certificate so that they can have a passport and a driver's license and a birth certificate that all say the same thing which provides them with certain protection and also I think we need the Human Rights Act to make it really clear also I think we need the Human Rights Act to make it really clear that they should be and they are protected from discrimination that's not the case at the moment and we need to make sure that they can get good quality health care and that we challenge the stigma of discrimination that means that like 
most young people who identify as trans or non-binary in our schools are being bullied and their mental health is suffering as a result. Yeah. And we can do better than that. Perfect.